You're not gonna weasel your way out of this. You wanna act like a child, then I'm gonna treat you like a child. You're grounded. On whose authority? General Chang. Yav. Much got lot mu. Hey everyone, Thord and Smash here, and we are finally getting our collection event trailer for Season 14 for the Beast of Prey event. We know of the Heirloom, a bunch of the skins, and so much more, and we're going to cover that today. We're also going to go over some new stuff with the Anti-Cheat and something going on with Apex Legends blacklisting pro players. And we're also going to give out 45 bucks. All you got to do is like, comment, subscribe. You guys know the drill, but without further ado, let's talk about the new event. Okay, so we are finally getting our new collection event this upcoming Tuesday, and it is Thursday, which means that we will be getting the collection event trailer this morning which will give us a lot more details they always release the Thursday before it should be actually out three hours from the launch of this video at the latest it will be five hours from the launch of this video but we already know a ton of stuff that's actually coming for this event so I know it's actually data mine that there will be epic skins for fuse Gibby and Revenant along with that there will be a car epic hemlock epic and wingman epic you can see these right here as they rotate through and as most people are aware of now that there has been numerous teasing of the Loba heirloom that is the one that everyone is hoping will come through we saw it in fact in a comic so it would make a lot of sense that we are finally arriving at that eventual date of people being able to get that loba heirloom that have waited for so long and we also know that the event is going to be called beast of prey which tom henderson let us know back on september 2nd and a couple of other leakers let us know back in august but other than that a lot of stuff has been hidden other than the skins that you are seeing right here that are confirmed but because this is the last season that storm point is in rotation for a while because we have the new moon map next season we can expect some changes for storm point going into the second spot Split. One of the things that has been found forever is a Bangalore town takeover that's actually a military installation that's on the south end of the map. You can see it right here. It's actually quite gigantic and has a lot of room and movement to go around. I'm really thinking this is going to be the first town takeover we actually get on Stormpoint as we've never gotten one before. And if this doesn't actually end up coming, then that unfortunately means it's scrapped, which I think is just a waste of assets and the map in general, which sometimes feels just a little empty. But speaking of things that are very empty on the map, there's another thing that was leaked before Stormpoint was ever dropped and that is the goliath and we have seen so many different leaks we have animations we have all these other things and it makes sense that with an event called beast of prey and the newest legend vantage in for this season that we are going to be hunting a giant goliath on the map or that it will have some kind of pve quest against it this is another one of those things like the bangalore town takeover however where if it doesn't appear in this trailer or in the event whatsoever it could be another one of those features that was scrapped which in my opinion it would be a giant waste because storm point for the last four seasons just has not been that interesting interesting to play on. Moving into other news, there is a new anti-cheat system that EA has come out with for PC specifically. It's called the Kernel System. Might have mispronounced that, but it's the same as Valorant, and it basically will have a back end of your PC. Now, they did state that this was only for future releases of EA games, such as the FIFA 23. We do know that there is a future Apex Legends title coming out, so I wouldn't be surprised to see the anti-cheat in that form some way, but I do believe they're also working on ways to improve the anti-cheat and just the normal Battle Royale Apex Legends we've all been playing. And this comes on the fact that his Watson actually just received blacklisting from EA tournaments. Now, this is for the 200,000 Hyperlux tournament, I believe. Right now, he hasn't been banned from ALGS. It hasn't been announced one way or the other if that's going to be what happens. And in case you didn't know what actually caused all of this, his Watson's Apex Legends games were crashing every game over a certain weekend. And it was due to a hacker that basically took credit known as AG420. Most of you might know him as a leaker, but he's also someone who sells hacks and cheats. Well, his Watson decided to message him and he basically said I hate hideouts and I want to clown him on Twitter I feel like we could mutually benefit from you telling me what you know now unfortunately for his Watson he trusted this information with a known leaker and hacker who obviously put it out there for the public to see and hideouts being a member of respawn security team who handles the cheating situation was basically put as a public target by one of the biggest pro players in the apex Legends scene and this is what caused the blacklisting from EA events I'm not gonna try to take a side here one way or the other as that's my personal opinion. But like I said, the last time I covered this, I'm interested to know your guys' opinion. Is this a product of EA having a horrible anti-cheat system and allowing players like Autism Gaming to actually ruin other players' experiences? But even if that is the case, was it okay to go this far from his Watson, personally directing anger and wanting to publicly embarrass a respawn EA employee? Let me know down below. Are you excited for this collection event? Do you think it's gonna have a bunch of new fun ways to play the game? Or are you a little bit hesitant? And until next time, Legends, keep slaying the Outlands. I'll see you out there.